December 25, Solemnity of the Nativity of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and without Him nothing came to be. What came to be through Him was life, and this life was the light of the human race, The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world. And the world came to be through him, but the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh, and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. From his fullness we have all received, Grace in place of grace, because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. The only Son, God who is at the Father's side, has revealed Him. The Gospel of the Lord Power to Become Children of God John the Evangelist reflects on the meaning of Christ's coming, He does not write about his birth, but his coming as a human being, a full-blown and mature man, not as a baby. But he discusses the meaning of the Incarnation just the same. While we are happy and inspired that God becomes human and dwells among us, it saddens to note that not everyone accepts him. His own townmates reject him. This is like a little footnote in the whole story of Jesus. We know for sure that many people accept him, only a handful reject him. John gives us a big consolation when he says that God gives the power to become children of God to those who believe in Jesus. As the whole Christian world celebrates Christmas, we must put into our hearts and minds that we are empowered to act like Jesus. For we are children of God. We can do wonderful things for others. We can forgive sinners. We have the ability to learn Christ's teachings. We have the power to overcome sin and temptation. The first reading commands those who accept Jesus, who has beautiful feet to bring good tidings to the people. They must break out together in song. They must celebrate. The second reading describes further the identity of Christ. It can be a big mistake if we cannot take him in our lives. He is greater than the prophets of old who spoke on behalf of God. Christ himself is God and directly speaks to us.